guys, Ghostman here, and this is just gonna be one of my quick put up vlog sort of stuff. Um, this is just gonna be me rambling. This is I'm just gonna be rambling for a bit, cause I'm kind of in a spot where I can't really do much else other than do a quick vlog ramble. Um. Okay, so. First topic, um, I don't know how many topics are going to be in this, but it, this is my first topic. First topic, it's that time of year again. <sighs> School, why? Uh, what? Every year it seems like summer comes and then it's just gone like that. It just disappears. I don't like it. It's like... I, I, it's like, I know I've had a good, good long summer. It's just, I don't feel ready for school yet. It's like, ugh. Um, so, it's like, I start school in two days. Ugh. And then it's the school grind all over again. Get up, up, get up early in the morning. Go to school. Do everything in school, then come home from school straight afterwards. And then once winter rolls around, school, basketball practice for me, and then head back home. It's going to be the school daily grind all over again. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to it, but at the same time I am because it's like... I can, I, I, I get to do something different, because it's like, all summer it has been games, anime, and YouTube, and Netflix, like, all of that, just the entire summer, and then there was one week where I went off to camp, for, uh, a church camp, and it's just like, I had an awesome time there, and it's just like, it felt nice to do something different, other than just sit in a chair and just be like, click, 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 click. And now it's basically me doing this, but in a different locale at my school. Because it's basically going to be the same thing. It's just get to school and there's going to be a click, 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 click. But more school related than just doing whatever. So, yeah. Uh, that's the end of the first topic, which is the school stuff. That was a quick go through. Um, second topic, I, I, uh, finally, finally, finally got my driver's stuff taken care of. It's like, we had it planned out for me to do, like, do my driver's license test, like, at the beginning of the summer, like, straight out of school, like, get some practice in, get some learning in, and then take care of my driver's license. That did not happen. Literally, I'm at, like, the edge of my seat in terms of driver's license because it's, like, I literally just took the written test for driver, the driver's test on, I think, last Thursday. So, it's just, like, um, I think, what's, the 18th, yeah, the 18th, and I'm just, like, I, oh, I got close with that one because it's, like, you're only able to, for us, where I live, South Dakota, where you're only able to get six wrong on your written test. If he gets over six wrong, you have to redo it. Lucky me, I only got five wrong, so I was just like, yes, I passed straight away. <laughs> but, and then, but then the problem came in that I had no social security card. So I couldn't go to the driving portion of the test. So, right now, I'm able to drive, I just can't i have to drive with one of my parents so yay but upside i got my social security card to today so i can like at any point get scheduled for a drive to the driving test and if i pass that i get a drive my driver's license and i'm all set and ready to go for being able to take myself to school yeah oh man Ugh, jeez. Uh, that's the end of my second topic. Um, 
third topic, I don't know for sure, but I'm like, uh, I think I'm going to talk about my social media stuff. <clears throat> I have done this multiple, time, multiple times before, but I'm just going to ramble a little bit off about it. Facebook. I have a Facebook page. I have said this in multiple of my vlogs already, but I'm just going to say it again. Um, let's see here. Uh, loop. Uh, whoa, what the? Don't ask me. Oh. There we go. Don't ask me why my webcam wasn't there anymore. There we go. <clears throat> Let's see. Screen cap. Sorry, this has all been like, I'm having to do something quick. Here we go. This is my YouTube page. This is like right at the um, uh, banner. So, so if I scroll down quick. Well, well, scrolling down, as you can see right there, right there. There's a the my subscribe button. Right above that are the, these five tabs. These all connect to my social medias. So this one connects to my Facebook page. Click this, you go to my Facebook page and you follow me in there. Tumblr, I don't really do much with. This is the Tumblr one, so you don't really have to worry about that. Twitter, click this, go to, to, to my Twitter page and follow me on Twitter. Simple, easy peasy. Google Plus, I don't have no. And then I have a Twitch, uh, Twitch channel. Haven't really done much with my Twitch channel, so you don't really have to worry about that. If you want to follow, uh, follow me on Twitch, go right ahead. But uh, if any, if I ever do any live streaming, once I get a better computer, definitely gonna be going through Twitch. But for right now, since I don't have the best computer. I'm having to, I'm going to be live streaming through YouTube because it puts less on, less on my system. So, yeah. For in that case, all you have to do is just subscribe to me. And most of you watching this video already are. So, I had to point that out quick cuz I have said it multiple times before. And no one really listens. It's kind of disappointing. But people do what they gotta do. So I just pointed that out because I wanted to. So I'm just asking nicely. If you guys are subscribed to me and you really enjoy like my videos and whatnot, just go and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. And uh, if you want to, follow me on Twitch. That's all I'm asking. It's not that hard. All you have to do is click those buttons and you're there. And you just have to click follow and click like and all that. Simply easy peasy whoop. It literally takes that uh, like <laughs> literally takes like ten seconds just to do that. But it depends on the speed of your computer. It may take more than ten seconds. I don't know. Um, that is end of topic three. Uh, topic four, my reactions. I'm. I mean, I'm very sorry that I haven't put up a lot of reaction videos lately. It's just, as you can tell from the things I've rambled on already, I've been busy this summer. It's like, well, not busy. What am I saying? I've been slightly, I've been pretty busy the, these last few weeks with like driver's license, school, and so on. Uh, I had camp, uh, church camp a few weeks ago. Um, so yeah but for the most part 
if anything, it's just because I've been sidetracked with all of my video game, my anime, and all that. So I haven't really gotten to a chance to do very many reactions. I, at one, one point, I did make a reaction to of me reacting to Peter Holland's uh, Turn Up the Music. I posted it, and it immediately got blocked worldwide. And I'm just sitting here like, what? I gave credit to the guy. I gave credit to me, Peter Holland. So I did all that, and then it's all, and it still came blocked. Uh, I don't. Meh. YouTube, why you, why you be the rude? Why you be the rude? YouTube, why? Um. But and so and uh, I have to bring up, bring this up. If there, I'm running low on ideas of what I personally can react to. That's why I'm leaning on you guys, my subscribers, to comment in my videos, to asking me to react to such and such. So it's like it gives me an idea of something I can react to. And you guys are wanting me to react to it. So it's like, it's a video for you guys to like get enjoyment from the, like, and see how I enjoy it and that sort of stuff. At the same time, it's giving props to the creators of like, of the videos. And so it's like, I have it set up. I have my playlist set up. I have playlists for uh, YouTuber created content. I have a playlist for Pentatonic stuff. I have playlists for Ruby when I start reacting to ruby again and then i have a playlist for peter hollands when i start getting more of his reactions to him out so if any of you guys are wanting me to react to other stuff uh, things other than like pentatonics and all and whatnot just ask me in the comment section tell me what you would like me to react to um and i once i uh I have a tendency to look at my YouTube channel quite a lot. I look at if I'm getting any messages. I look at if I'm. I look at my status of my videos quite often, so I will know when you guys comment. So I, if anything, my comments are going to be like snap fast. Um. One of the. Uh, I just have to point this guy out. Uh, this person out. Um. They're one of my subscribers, and they have pretty cool uh, uh, animation videos that have uh, songs to it. And I have to give props cause it, to them because it's pretty dang good. And that person is Zetonks. So, uh, I highly suggest you guys go check check this this person out um they have pretty good uh animation uh music video things that they're they're still working on it they're still working on their skills but i have to po uh, point out that it's really good um i've been like commenting on most of his animation videos or his or her animation videos and the um I, all I can say for them is high, very positive stuff because they're still working. They're still working. Their skills are figured out, but there's it's still really good. Um, so I highly suggest that you go, you guys check out his, uh, his or her videos. <clears throat> um, so I'm actually. Since I did that, let me see if there's anybody else on here that I can point out. Uh, hmm. And there's only only other people I can point out are. Uh, is Jennifer? Uh. Also known as uh, uh, Gingerfer, Gingerfer, yeah. Um, she has a few videos that are uh, actually quite a lot of videos that are her singing, and then there's she also has videos of her, of just um, vlogs and some like random clips that uh, of her like going to conventions and whatnot. So I highly suggest that you guys uh, watch her too. I highly suggest it because she's um, a nice person. She, she's like 
she has some nice aura. She's like very uh, uplifting. She is very uh, happy most of the time. So I su highly suggest you guys check her out too. Um, and then there is let's see, and then there's this guy right here. This guy right here. Unique man out 17. He only has 10 subscribers. And he has a few videos. So all I can say is watch him and see what is. And it's up to you if you like him or not. I can't really say. Because I know him in real life. He's a good friend of mine. So I have to point him out because it, it helps him too. So that's what I'm doing and it's like so I suggest you guys just check out his videos and see if you like them or not um so yeah uh um oh and well I'm getting I'm done with pointing out some people that have like really good content um uh I'm done uh, I've done my uh, talking on my reaction videos and how that's going to work out gaming gaming um that is a touchy subject because with how my computer is doing it's really hard for me to play any video games because every time i'm recording and playing a game it kills my laptop I forgot to put up my sign. I I made this sign specifically to put up so people won't barge in into my room while I'm doing this sort of stuff, but I forgot to put it up and so my brother just opened the door. <sighs> Dang it. Um uh, but yes, gaming. Gaming is a very hard, touchy sub subject at the t moment because, with my, how, as I said, with how my computer runs while recording and playing a game, it is really hard for me to um, do that. So, <clears throat> um, yeah. So, if I ever put a vi uh, gaming video up, it may be one of those more simpler ones, not too graphic heavy and all that just so i can play it record it and not lag like heck i tried to do a recording on minecraft and it literally killed my computer for a moment there it's just like i'm just playing it and come nighttime mob spawning and all that and i'm just huddled up in a corner not able to play the game because i'm just like G -g 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 can't even kill a mob because it's so laggy not how you want to play minecraft um and th there are a few other games like star wars old republic and all that that i play but those are more for me to play on my own because if i were to, were to record them it would get laggy and no one likes laggy stuff it's just not fun so, video uh, video games will probably become more of a thing for me to do when I get up our computer. That's what I think, and that's what um, Unique Man Out thinks as well. Once I get a better computer, a better system, like video gaming is going to become easier because I have a more powerful system that can record and play a game at the same time. Um, yeah. And then, to, on the topic of vlogs, those will only come out like every so often when, when I'm not able to do very much else other than just do a quick vlog and like this. This was supposed to be quick, but it became more of an update sort of thing. Um, yeah, and for right now, it's really hard for me to do any anything because. Um, as the mom as the moment of me making this video, my internet is being stupid. It is 
working, but at the same time not working. It's like I'm able to go on Netflix, Facebook, and YouTube. Anything else, not work. Like it's just weird, complete weirdness, and it's frustrating as heck. Um, I can't even look at my like uh, chatting places like uh, Discord. I can't even look at that because on my computer because it goes through the internet and it's blocked <coughs> and it's blocked luckily i have my phone and they i'm able to check out discord and whatnot through there speaking of uh discord the only reason why i use discord is because it's my only way to communicate with people for uh chronicles of illyria and since i'm now speaking of that this next topic I'm going to say is about Chronicles of Lyria. I have made a video of me discussing some of the things about Chronicles of Lyria that has got, caught my interest, what I like about it, what it's about, that sort of thing, and what I'm kingdom I'm part of. I have said already that I'm like part of the, uh, the Romari, uh, Romarian Empire. It is um, a small group of 19 people, and as of right now, I am the head of industry slash infrastructure of the kingdom, so anything industry-wise has to go through me first, and then I can discuss it with uh, the emperor in this case, our is uh, Commando Arthos, Commander Arthos. So if things work out, if I find things myself to seem a bit questionable or like I'm not fully for sure if it's something that something that can go. I ha I'll be I'll have to go through him quick and see how that all works out. Um, if he's okay with it, and it's also the whole council thing. It's like emperor, and then you have the heads of these branches of the community of the of the empire, and then so on and so forth. So it's like emperor, uh, council. So it's like the heads of each district and whatnot, and then you have your the uh, p uh, local uh political leaders of the people and whatnot. So it's like you know, people step the step under the council and whatnot. Ah, uh, I'm not for totally for sure how the, if that's how um Arthos wants it, but I think that is for the most part. He mo he recently put up a a thing on the Chronicles of Lyria forum where um, he discusses what is going on here and whatnot, and with all that. What through, I'll probably put the link of it in the description of this video through my phone, like in the comments, not the description, because I can't really look at it on my computer. Dang you, internet. <sighs> So, yeah. And I also have to point out, uh, this is going to be, like, Chronicles of Lyria is going to be quite interesting for me. Because, as I said, I'm a head of, head of the Romarian Empire's industry. At the same time, I'm a lead, one of the, uh, me and Unique are the leaders of a local crafting guild called Order of the Forge. We have made it, ha we made it and have it set up as a local guild of the Romarian Empire but Unique traveled off to a, a distant kingdom called Arcadia and he is setting up a uh, Order of the Forge branch in Arcadia so he'll be a leader there watching over the, his uh, Order of the Forge down in Arcadia and then there's me watching over the development of the or order to forge branch in the Romarian Empire. So I'm a leader of a guild and my head I'm head of it a little bit head of industry in the Romarian Empire. I have two top roles. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be interesting. But so far Order of the Forge, my guild, doesn't have any people in it. So that's why I'm thinking maybe I'll put a, this link to the Discord in the description in the comment section of this video, so um, p 
peep uh you guys can like go to uh go to it and whatnot and like uh get information about it from like me through discord or unique through discord that sort of stuff just so you get a better idea um yeah i think that's about it in terms of chronicles of Lyria and all the new stuff <clears throat> uh, um, but yeah I think that's about everything that I'm really need really needing to talk about. It's like, cause after this video, once I get done with this, it's just like I'm not gonna have much else to do. Hmm. Cause I'll just end up going and probably playing, either watching a movie, or watching random YouTube videos, or I'm gonna play some Sims 3. Cause I've been doing that. Uh, I've been playing Sims 3 for the past few days because no internet. Sad face. And I'm actually pretty far. This is like... I've only... I may started off with one character. And it's like... Got him situated. Got him like... Uh, start, got him in a career. Started all that. And normally by the time he becomes an adult, he's normally pretty far towards the top of the career chain yeah that's that's the weird part this time he couldn't like by the time he become an elder he was only like a little bit above halfway through the career chain and um, i'm just sitting here like what how what but luckily but and that, that, the weirdest part is like I had to spend a few, good few days just, like, getting him a wife very quickly because if I didn't, it's like, I would have been screwed because I'm pretty sure elders can't have kids <laughs> in The Sims. I'm, that's to my knowledge. Um, so it's like, okay, better hurry this up, better hurry this up because it's like, um, literally, so his wife literally became an elder the day after she had the kid uh had a kid i'm just like i cut that i i got that that was close i was so lucky with that one so and so for the most part my main character and his wife are elders right now so for the mo and their daughter is now a teenager and so, for the most part, I've just been doing uh, more focused on the teenager, their daughter, because they're elders, they're retired, so they're not really doing much. All I have to make sure they do is eat food, do like shower, bathroom, and sleep. Other than that, I let them do their random things. Like uh, my main character, he's literally most of the time either just playing guitar, playing drums, p playing piano, or playing chess or reading books. Meanwhile, his wife is either just dancing to the radio, doing random things on the computer, or skinny skinny dipping in the hot tub or the pool. Yeah, she's weird. And then there's their uh, daughter who's like a teenager, so she's still in school, so she's going through like, she had to go do, has to do the homework and all that. She's A plus student on honor roll. So that's all nice and dandy. So I think she's a few since I last played. She's like maybe two days from like growing up to a young adult. And when she's a young adult, that's when I'll move her out of her parents' house and stick her in the random another random house in the city. So yeah, I'm gonna call that section uh, Sims my boredom sims 3 update thing like what i've been doing while the internet's been goofed up <sighs> i don't actually since i've started my youtube channel i haven't really talked about my sims 3 experience so yes i have as i said i've played sims 3 a lot i know the mechanics of sims 3 and it's like all that but there was i think it was when i was uh a few years ago i just uh, the, uh, while in school, I asked a friend of mine, like, hey, 
can I make a Sims 3 character based off of you? And he's like, fine, go ahead. I'm wondering what will happen if, when you do that. So, I make him, stick him in the world, and my friend's name is Nathan. Um, for those of you wondering, let me quickly do this. Uh, do, 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 do. This, he has a YouTube channel called this. Nate plays games. So if you want to check him out, check him out. He has literally no videos. He just has like one video. So it's up to you if you want to check him out or not. Um, but yes, Nate, I made a Sims based off of Nate and made him a, his career to be like a rock star or something like it's music career. Um, it's just playing, just playing, uh, playing as him and just doing random goofy stuff, having him go through up at the chain of the music career. And at one point, I have him go check on, like, see who his, uh, like, who one of his neighbors is. He, he lived, lived in an apartment building at the time, so it's like, just go to the door across the hallway and knock on it. And it's like, okay, so who's the, who's the next door neighbor? Next door neighbor was named Peyton, and she was a teen, uh, a teenager at the time. So it's just, and my guy was a young adult, so it's just like, okay, this is quite strange because I, uh, one of my friends in real life is named Peyton, and he's a good buddy of Nathan. So I'm just like, this is gonna make the greatest story ever. <laughs> um, so it's just like, so I just. And one of the neat things about the Sims 3 is that you can just buy a birthday cake and you can invite a Sim over and you can age them up forcefully if they're not like, not even if they're halfway to the point of age growing up, you can just like plop birthday cake and like here you go, here's your birthday and they grow up. So that that's what I ended up doing. It's like I, um, I invited the Peyton girl over. I was just like, okay. Grow her, uh, age her up, and now she's a young adult, and let's get this, get let's get these two together, because it'll make the best story ever. <clears throat> but before all that, he, um, Nathan, the Sims version, got, uh, like a romance sort of thing with a vampire chick, and he got turned into a vampire from her, and literally. The, like, the night after that happened, the vampire g the chick died because of hunger. She starved to death. It was kind of like, how? Why? Huh? Yeah. And then, like, a few, few days later, he gets into a thing with a bouncer at one of the dance clubs. And the thing I found out about that is your sim cannot become married or anything like that to a bouncer. It's like, so it's just like, you can get a high romance thing with them, but you can't become boyfriend, girlfriend, you can't do anything like that. So it's just like, I went through all that work for nothing. Which then comes to the point of Peyton. Find find out neighbor across the uh, neighbor across the hallway named Peyton. So I'm just like, okay, this works. And so it's just like, okay, let's see what happens. Um, make Peyton a young adult, get them together, that sort of thing. And then it's like, I get uh have them go uh, try for child and whatnot. And before that, I have Nathan turn. Peyton into a vampire, so they're both vampires, and have them try for a child. And to my amazement, when they have the child, it's just like a normal baby and whatnot. But once he becomes a teenager, I learned something quite utterly fascinating. He, since he is literally a human vampire hybrid, because 
he is able to eat normal human foods and get like a full hunger bar. But he's also able to drink blood and like do the, eat the plasma stuff of the of the game and get filled up from that. But his parents are only only able to get like full from like the plasma and the blood. They can't eat human food and get full from that. So it's just like I found that completely like mind boggling. And another thing is one of the perks of a vampire character is during the night your character gets a, a experience boost. So it's like when they're playing like cooking food or playing guitar or exercising during the night the or like trying to get logic skills anything like that uh the vampire uh per uh, vampires have a perk where it's like you get experience faster so that's quite neat one of the things that was interesting about the guy though is that he the uh, the kid is that he literally learned uh got like Level 10, uh, not, like, max out the experience, and basically everything within, like, three, three, four days. Like, it was, like, crazy. It's like, he just got logic learned in no time. Just had them on a telescope, and within, like, I don't know, five hours, he was at level 10 of logic. And I'm just like, what? How? What? And it's like during the day, it's experience is going out the wazoo. During the night time, it's going double the rate. And I'm just like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just find a glitch? If I did, this is the most awesome glitch ever. Because it's like, he learned, he got top-notch knowledge. He got, uh, he learned guitar so quick. He learned piano. He learned drum. He learned Face like that, he became a master artist. He became a master mixologist. He like, I think he's even became a ma like almost a master gardener too. Um, he had the like, he was like a master athlete. He was like all that. I'm just like, this is the best kid ever. He could literally do any job he wanted, and no one would complain about his. Like, how well he's doing, because he'd be doing awesome at it. It's like, he did awesome in school because of how smart and, like, all that... Like, mind-blown. Uh, and it's like, so I tell uh, the real-life Nate, my friend, all this, and he's just like... How did that happen? He was even mind-blown and, like confused when he learned about like i found the female Peyton in the sims world and he, she was your neighbor and she, and he was just like what the, uh ain't that uh quinky dink so it was like it was the, my best sim experience ever like i was like i've played sims one so i know the sims one stuff too and I've never had anything that funny and that awesome happen before. So, so it's just like that gameplay alone just made The Sims for me. It was just like awesome. And I don't think anything's ever going to compare to that. <laughs> oh man, oh, I had to get that out. I had Since I started talking about The Sims, I had to tell that story. Because I know some of you are going to probably laugh your heads off with this one. Maybe. Um, so... I've talked quite a lot. I have done expl explanations, and I'm quite thirsty, so I need to get something to drink. So, um, this is going to be an ended video, so I don't know how long this video has been. So, I'm sorry if it's a long vlog or rant or whatever. But, but yeah, so, uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it, because... Even if this was a long video, I know some of you possibly will um, watch uh, the entire thing. If you if you guys watch the entire thing, thank you because it's it's like you are you are awesome. Um, uh, I'm gonna take a note from one of the YouTubers I watch. <clears throat> if you have watched the entire video, and so. 
this is going to be a new thing. If you watch the entire video, I'm going to add a secret uh, word that you have to say in the comments to say the proof that you've watched the entire video. So, for this episode, I'm going to go with the phrase keep out. If you watch the entire if you've watched the entire uh, video, you you'll understand to keep out what that means. Um, so I I ask you to say keep out down in the description if you watched the entire video. Um, so yeah, please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below of either like stuff you want to talk about, like things I need to react to, just like and or if you have anything to say about the stuff that I've talked throughout this entire video. And also comment down below, keep out the phrase, uh, the secret phrase. Um, and then please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already, because it'll help me in the long run. So will the likes, because getting high subscri subscription, late, uh, subscription rate and a lot of likes will help my channel grow. And it'll help me get some money income, because that's something that I'm going to need in a short amount of and, and, and at some point, bleh, sorry, my vocal cords in my mouth are not wanting to cooperate because I'm that thirsty. <laughs> um, but yeah, this has been Ghostfire. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. See ya.